Yeah, so today's video I wanted to talk about uh, surface finishes for ESD flooring. And, you know, some people use them, some people don't. Uh, some people recommend them, some people don't. Um, there are materials in the, in the market that control static electricity very well, but they can be hard to maintain. This is a typical conductive vinyl. It's very common uh, material in the marketplace. And just the nature of it, it's, it's a little difficult to maintain. It tends to be, uh, you know, trap dirt. And, and one way to handle that would be you scrub it all the time um, and keep it clean. Or if you have a very clean environment, like a clean room, you might not have an issue with it. But, but if you do, one thing you can do is apply a finish to it. Now, if you put a conventional floor finish on it, those are insulative and they won't, and they'll, they'll mask the conductivity of the tile and basically ruin your properties. So if you do use a finish, you'd want to use a good ESD finish. Now, even in ESD finishes, there are different uh, makers on the market. Um, and you have to be really careful with what you buy. You want to make sure that, that your ESD finish is rated for at least dissipative, which means that after it's applied it has a resistance of between 10 to the 9th ohms and 10 to the 6th ohms, or conductive even. Um, and there are finishes on the market that have that. Um, there are other finishes that are quote-unquote anti-static, and they will not provide static control to the level that you would need in an electronics manufacturing environment. They just generally inhibit charge buildup so that you don't shock yourself on the door. So that's a very, very high level of shock. So um, just to put that in context, when you feel a shock on the door, it's at least 3,000 volts. Um, you can damage a chip at 100 volts. So they're not in the same ballpark. So again, if you use an anti-static finish in an electronics manufacturing environment, you could be in a lot of trouble. So number one, make sure that the finish you use is rated for uh, ESD control, and again, you can it'll, it should have a resistance rating with it. Um, this is a finish that we sell. We call it Dura Shield. Uh, I'm going to apply it by hand. It's pretty simple. Normally, you'd use a wet mop, um, and it and it just puts a thin layer. Um, and you do, again, you do this with a wet wet mop, but you're just putting a thin coating on, and it it kind of bonds with the vinyl on the surface. The finish itself, again, most floor finishes are insulative, and if you look at our other video on uh, conductive materials and uh, ESD flooring materials. Um, you'll see that most materials start as insulated, but we add conductive elements to make them work properly. This finish is no different. It is an acrylic finish, which is insulative, and we add a conductive element to it to give it the right level of conductivity to work. It bonds with the vinyl and the tile. It gives a little bit of a shine, so it looks a little nicer, uh, but it's also a lot easier to clean. Um, so that's one route. Again, just be careful if you're looking at floor finishes. Make sure they are rated for uh, true static control environments. Um, the other path you can take, and this is a material we also have and sell, this is a conductive vinyl, but it has a conductive urethane with conductive elements added to it, uh, pre-applied. So this comes out of the box, you put it down, good to go, it's very easy to maintain. Um, again, uh, with the urethane coating on this, polyurethane, is an insulator, so we add a conductive element to that polyurethane before it gets applied to this tile, so it all works in conjunction as a system, and it gives you the right level of conductivity and static protection. So those are two routes you can take. Um, there are some, uh, some people refer to them waxes, they're probably not a lot different than this type of finish, that they'll suggest you apply directly to a non-ESD floor. In this case, I applied this finish to a static control floor, so they work together. Um, to give you a good solid path to ground, good uh, mechanism for draining static charge from the person and from the environment. Um, if you use these on a non-ESD floor, uh, you might be able to get a good resistance rating when you measure it with a resistance meter, but you're not going to have a very good path to ground. It's something that we really don't recommend you do. And, and uh, it's something you'd also have to, even if you could get it to work moderately, you'd have to reapply them all the time, like once a month at least. So it's a, it's a very cumbersome, um, costly in the end, way to go. Some people think it's cheap because these materials aren't expensive, but when you take a look at the level of protection they don't really provide and the frequency you'd have to apply them, they end up being you know, really not a very good choice to do it that way. So we wouldn't recommend applying a finish as your only means of static control. It's really meant to work with a static control flooring material to give it a little bit of enhancement on maintenance, but to work with the static control elements in the flooring uh, that it's going on top.